Pennsylvania. There's a gem of racing history tucked away in Pennsylvania's Lehigh Valley. Names like Petty, Unser, Andretti, Earnhardt. They've all experienced this unique one-mile track. And today, it hosts the stars of the Bush Series for the final time. This is behind what looks like a ticket counter. Pretty sure it was now that I see all this. Right next to us is where we have the tunnel where all the NASCAR uh, cars are gonna go down into the uh, speedway. So you could imagine them parked back here. This is just the storage area. You could just picture all the RVs and different type of tractors that would haul these cars all across America just sitting in this field. So one by one, you would have these cars coming down this very mossy, overgrown tunnel. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're in a very cool location. We're exploring an abandoned speedway. This place is historic. Mario Andretti raced here, his son raced here. They both won here. That's just a little bit of the history. The place we're at is called Nazareth Speedway. It was originally opened in the 1850s, first for horse racing. This specific arena was 1910. That's when it was uh, introduced to cars and the place did very, very, very well to begin. It was it really started 
in the beginning of NASCAR and as NASCAR grew and speed racing grew as a, as a sport, this place did too. So it went over a lot of renovations. The last purchase was in 1986. So everything you see here will probably be from that renovation date. The place itself was abandoned in 2006. And since then, everything's overgrown and time is just completely frozen. We're gonna be exploring this place with Chris, Urbex and Chill. If you enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up. Let's go check it out, I'm excited. Have a building here. Infield care center, so it's some sort of like on-site urgent care for potential NASCAR crashes. As we're making our way onto the actual track itself, we starting to see some buildings now. Those that are left at least. One thing I may add is that the stands for this once arena that held 45,000 people at one point, they demolished the stands. So those unfortunately we cannot see, but the rest so far is pretty cool. We got remnants of what's left and a lot of overgrown buildings, stuff that we love here. So let's take a look inside of this uh, infirmary here. Looks completely destroyed and smells a little bad. All paperwork for the place. I just noticed inside this insulation, got a bird nest. Oh, shit. oh, shit. I think I went into a bee. Oh, shit. I went into a beehive. Whew. Oh, shit. dude. Inside that place, I, I must have went into a beehive. I saw there was a, um, in, inside the wall, there was a bird nest, eggs still in there. And next thing I know, I saw a bunch of bees fly up at me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is the helipad. So in case injuries, I guess, were too serious for this little center, they'd get helicoptered over to a hospital. Pretty cool. Because I'm dumb and I really want to see what else is in here, I'm not going to let that beehive stir me up. Oh, can't go in this way. This door is breaking. Yeah, we have some medical stuff in here. All the insulation is everywhere. So there probably was some really, I don't know if there was deaths that happened on this racetrack, but if anybody had died, they died in this room. Well, I mean, they had other people. Yeah, well, if, got, it was, if it was that bad, they didn't make it there. You still have all the gowns on the ground. So the paperwork that we're here is basically just a instruction form of what happened here, symptoms, what's going on, any wounds. And this, I guess, would be sent to the hospital or wherever the driver's doctors would be. That's pretty much all that's left in this little station. Let's try to find some more stuff. Okay, so we're pulling up to the media center where they would control sound and announcing and cameras if they were here. But over here is actually the finish track, the finish line, I should say. So this is the finish line here. Many people won races here. Lots of joy and happiness once here. Also a place where Mario Andretti and his son both won races here. So a pretty historic place.
Wow, lots of black mold in here. I'm not gonna step in here, I could just smell the mold. I'm just gonna back away. Maybe we'll take a peek upstairs and see what else is here. Yeah, this building's soaked in water. Here's actually the controls. You could see the mold here though. Don't have a mask today, so I'll peek around this corner and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Broken windows, a lot of torn up wires. So this is actually where the broadcast booth would be. Outside these windows that are boarded up now is where the finish line is. So this is where everyone would be staying. It appears to be empty now, but you can see where all the uh, electronics were. On top of the media center, we really can get a view of a couple other buildings we have to hit up today. That's where the bleachers were, all where they're behind that white fence. And you could see the concession stands and a few other buildings with that salmon colored awning we're going to be checking out. There's also more buildings, warehouses, some uh, auto garages for fix ups. And it's going to be fun to see what else is here for a historic racetrack. Never explored one before, but if you're enjoying it, leave a thumbs up. Chris said that he saw what he thinks to be as a dead body. We're not kidding, we're not even doing clickbait or nothing. We're actually kind of nervous right now. But he wanted to show me, so we're going right now where we thought it was, or where he said it was. Where was it? Behind one of these, uh, God, dude, I have the fucking chills right now. Holy shit, bro. It really does look like a body. Oh my God. I want people to see my chills right now. I don't, even, I don't want to check. I don't dude, my, to my hair is sticking up so much right now. Dude, honestly, YouTube, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding right now. I have the chills so bad. Chills. Do you see my chills, YouTube? This ain't clickbait. <laughs> so when we leave, we'll just call the police and then tell them to come here and check it out. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah that's okay, I'm really, my heart's pounding right now. My chills. I had just so much fun. It does. It really does. Like, so you have this wrapped up in something. It doesn't smell in that room, it just smells like mold, but that's kind of really uneasy. I don't know how. We'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, so we don't really know what's actually in there. I still have the chills, and we don't want to call the police if this is a hoax. You know, they're going to look at us and think we're stupid and may even charge for the trespassing tickets, even though. We're not meaning any harm, so I'm just gonna simply poke what we see, and if it has, it's you know, I'm not gonna be disrespectful or nothing, but I really don't know what the hell this thing is. Um, you wanna take a light out? I don't have a light. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah. I'm shaking right now. It's like some Dan Bell stuff right here. It really is. I don't like it. Oh, dude. 
Who did the dude dude? I don't like him either. It could be just a tarp wrapped up, but why is it bent like that? I'm so nervous. I'm gonna poke it. It's gonna like get up. Oh, dude, it's moving weird. Am I wrong? I don't know. Am I wrong to say that that was? It's like, dude, it's like stiff. Yeah, no, I'm out. <laughs> dude, my back, everything on my body right now, the chills are just pop. I don't want to, I don't want to pull it And over on this side, this is the actual speedway. The track that the cars would be actually on. You can see all the thrashing marks, all the cuts right into the concrete from all the cars that would just scrape against us as they would come around this corner. So over time, you could see how they repainted it. You could see red at first, then you see the black, then you see the blue paint. And this place was owned and bought, I think, three different times, so there you go. Here we are walking on the track and we don't have one tree, we have two trees, pretty sizely. And this place was abandoned in 2004, so that'll leave 16 years for these things to uh, bloom up and just sit here in the middle of the track. Definitely no more racing these days. And one day, if this place isn't dealt with, you know, rather repurposed or, you know, demolished, entire place is just be gonna become a forest. I think these are oil companies, I could be mistaken though. Got some sort of old device here, rotting on the track. Can't really make up what it is. Maybe it's uh, something for cooking. Looks like that would maybe spin and grind something. I'm not sure. Looks old school though, so if anybody recognizes it, let me know. You found a memory card right on the ground. Score. Yep, pretty good. Just barely there, you can make out the red and white tiles that follow the racetrack around. Slowly getting uh, overgrown though. Okay, if you see these little pillars in the ground, this is where the the bleachers were. There's actually two areas where the bleachers were here. Uh, you could see the size of what they used to look like. 45,000 people would be able to fit inside this venue. And right now we're pulling up to what I think looks like the coolest part here. It's the food concession stands, the gift stores, souvenirs, collectibles. And all this stuff just looks completely post-apocalyptic. I love the overgrowth in the ground. The slight dip in that sign there. Just looks like we're in a complete wasteland. Souvenir shop.
Got a bed in here, but it doesn't look like too much. Tall cedars of Lebanon. Completely empty. I think these are bathrooms. Oh yeah. Wow. This is creepy. This stuff is really outdated. It's actually kind of cool to see the stuff in here right now. I didn't expect a bathroom to look this cool. And I, re I really must say there's like no privacy in here because you walk in, this is how it looks. So if I'm standing here, you could just see people taking craps. Not that much privacy. Concession stand. The Lime Grill, Nazareth Speedway. Fries, beer, and soda. That one looks good too. Looks like another bathroom. So we're gonna check out this. Wow, there's even more buildings here than I thought. It goes way back. Another collection and souvenir stand. This one's probably empty too. Yeah. They demolished something here with all this gravel. Gonna check out this building though. Another bathroom. This one's even more decayed. But I still like it. Cool, old school. Wish I knew what, what, uh, what year this bathroom was made because it's super outdated. And that's, this still stands true. Okay, now I'm stepping in some offices. This is like a speed call on all different things in the area that this arena might need to call. Paperwork. Got some cubicles. I wonder if there's anything in the drawers. Nope. Nothing. Oh wow, this must have been the uh, ticket booth right here. Yup. Oh yeah, here are the registers. See the cobwebs right in there. Chair 
pretty old uh, Staples catalog, considering this is the TV they're offering. Up to the final two buildings here that haven't explored. Just more bathrooms in a souvenir shop again. Gonna see if they're any different, anything's left behind, because we never know until we check. We might find something unique or cool that we haven't seen already. Okay, this is a modern bathroom. Wow! Whoa, bats! Oh, crap. They're gonna come out of here any second now. I can hear them. They sound nasty. I don't wanna get corona. We'll check it maybe from this side. Locked. Good sign making, good graffiti right there. Oh, it's empty, oh my God. That really does look like there's a body wrapped in it, though. Yeah, this is the main end shop for the cars here. Got a ton of stuff left. So it looks like we found an old. Wow. This is cool. It's Mario Andretti. Yeah. An adverse speedway. 2000. Really cool. So we found a uh, program. 2004. Yep. The last year is in operation. Live fast. Nazareth Speedway. All dusty. Cool to see this. Just all different events that happen throughout the year. Yeah. Guest services. Kids 12 and under free. There's the track. 